In this video, we will demonstrate how to install the LCN 4040XP closer and perform initial adjustments. We will install the 4040XP closer on the push side of a right-handed hollow metal door using a parallel arm. Please note the installation instructions show a left-handed door. These are the tools you will need. In the box, you will find the closer, regular arm, parallel arm bracket, rod and shoe, cover, screw pack, instruction sheet, and stick-on template. The 4040XP is a universal closer that comes with all parts necessary to install as regular arm, parallel arm, or top jam mount. There may be unused parts at the end of the installation. If this is a new construction project, Check the hardware schedule to confirm you have the correct closer for the opening. Check the opening for other hardware mounted on the top jam. Items such as a coordinator or overhead holder can affect the installation of the closer, and special templates may be required. Ensure the door swings freely, fits into the frame without binding, and that any latching hardware engages easily. There should be a 1 8 inch gap on the top and sides between the door and frame. Determine the handing of your door. To determine the hand of your door, first put your back to the hinges. If the door swings to the right, it's a right-hand door. If the door swings to your left, it's a left-hand door. For today's installation, we're using a right-hand door. Then, determine how far the door opens. In this opening, the door will open to 90 degrees. Therefore, we will measure all drilling locations on the door and frame. Apply tape to the door and frame to prevent scratches. For your convenience, you might want to take your directions and use the peel and stick tape and put them on the door in front of you so that all of your information will be close by when you need it. Close the door and use a T-square to mark a line 2 and 5 16 inches down from the stop. Mark a second line 4 and 9 16 inches down from the stop. On the upper line, mark spots 9.5 and 10.5 inches in from the center line of the hinge. Hi there! When you need to make a second mark exactly one inch away from the original mark, grab your T-square. The width of the ruler is one inch. Lay it up on the work surface. Find your first mark. Make sure the T-square is level and now you have the exact position of the second mark one inch away. Draw a perpendicular line down from the nine and a half inch mark. From that line, mark four inches and five inches away from the line. Mark a line 11 and a half inches in from the rabbit, perpendicular to the soffit. This is the center line. On the frame, use the T-square to mark two lines along the soffit, measuring from the door side, one at 5 16 and the other at 11 16 of an inch. On the line closer to the door, mark spots 1 and 16 inches on both sides of the center line. 
On the other line, Mark spots 1 and 11 16 inches on both sides of the center line. Finally, mark a spot on the center line 1 and 3 quarter inches from the door side. For doors with pivots or swing clear hinges, locate the closer and shoe from the pivot point of the door. Using the center punch, mark the nine locations to be drilled on the door and frame. Drill 1 8 inch pilot holes at all locations. The LCN 4040 XP spring power can be adjusted to provide proper closing force for your door. Please note, an improperly adjusted spring may result in personal or property damage. Using the chart in the instructions, determine the spring power setting based on the door width and the location of the opening. Adjust the spring to the correct number using the 5 seconds inch hex wrench. Turn the screw until the proper number appears in the power window. Screw in the valve on the back of the closer. Attach the closer to the door using the four screws. Self-reaming, self-tapping screws are provided as standard. Depending on your application, your supplier may have also provided wood screws or through bolts and machine screws. We recommend using wood screws for wood doors. Preload the closer to 30 degrees and hold. Attach the arm to the closer, then release the arm. Secure with the fastener. Attach the parallel arm shoe to the frame with the five screws. When installing the fifth screw, you may need to use the spacer block. The spacer block will typically be necessary, but if the fifth screw fits into the soffit, the spacer is not needed. If there is not sufficient room for the spacer, contact customer care. Attach the forearm to the shoe with the two fasteners. Slide the arm tube over the rod and thread the arm screw through the tube and into the rod. Do not tighten. Position the main arm until it is parallel to the face of the door, then tighten the arm screw. Making adjustments to the closer allows you to control the motion of your door. There are three hydraulic adjustments that provide for optimal door closer operation. The closer comes from the factory adjusted for a typical opening. Your closer may need additional adjustments depending on your installation requirements. Before making any adjustments, cycle the door twice to observe its operation. Please note, do not back out the adjustment screws too far. If you are close to backing out the screw completely, you should feel increased resistance. Once you feel this resistance, do not back out the screw any further. Back check is the hydraulic cushioning to slow the door as it opens. This usually starts at 70 degrees. The door will slow down to reduce the wear on the door, wall, and hinges. Back check does not serve as a doorstop. To adjust it, locate the back check screw, which is the screw on the face of the closer closest to the spring tube. If additional cushioning is needed, turn the screw one quarter turn clockwise and test. If less cushioning is needed, turn the screw one quarter turn counterclockwise and test. 
The next two hydraulic adjustments are main speed and latch speed. The main speed is the speed at which the door closes from its fully open position to about 20 degrees. The latch speed is the speed at which the door closes during its last 20 degrees of closing. When adjusting closing speed, remember the Americans with Disabilities Act requires doors to take, at minimum, three seconds to close, from 70 degrees to within three inches of the latch. Locate the main speed screw. It is located on the face of the closer, closest to the pinion, where the arm is attached to the body. Make an adjustment one quarter turn at a time, clockwise to decrease speed and counterclockwise to increase speed. Then, open the door and release it to observe the closing speed. Latch speed is the final adjustment, which ensures the door latches properly. We recommend only small adjustments to latch speed. The latch speed screw is adjacent to the main speed screw on the face of the closer. Make an adjustment one quarter turn at a time clockwise to decrease speed and counterclockwise to increase speed. Then, open the door all the way and release it to observe the latching speed. If, after adjusting the latch speed, the door still does not latch properly, you can increase the closing force by reversing the shoe. If the door is still not latching, Increasing the spring power can provide additional closing force. However, increasing the spring power will require more force to open the door. To complete the installation, snap on the cover. For assistance, contact Customer Care at 877-671-7011.